What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys to set any song as your ringtone on iOS 15. So the process is very the exact same as iOS 14, but I am making an updated video on this. So the first thing you guys want to do is have your downloaded song ready under the files application. So there are a lot of different ways of downloading some audio or like your song as your ringtone. So you guys can import from like your iCloud. You guys can go into Safari and go to some websites where you guys are able to download um, audio from uh, I can't really get into too much detail with that because uh, it's get, it's against YouTube's community guidelines so once you guys have your audio file ready to go you guys see I have a couple right here you guys will want to go to the App Store and you want to search up for an app called GarageBand so it is completely free it's by Apple it may take some of you guys a while for it to download because if we scroll down right here the file size is 1.6 gigabyte but once you have that downloaded onto your device, we can open up the app right here. When you open up the app for the first time right here, it's gonna look exactly like this. So what you wanna do is make sure you're under the tracks section right here, and then you wanna scroll until you see the audio recorder section. So you wanna tap on that right here. And once you're fully loaded in, what you wanna do is tap on this icon right here to switch it to the microphone mode. And then you see this little blue icon right there. You wanna turn that off so you disable this feature so it should no longer be blue. And then from there, you want to click on this little loop icon right here in the middle. And from here, what you want to do is select the file section right there. So it should be under Apple Loops, but you want to click on the files. And then from here, you want to locate your audio or song that you want to set as your ringtone. If you don't see it here, you want to click where it says a browse item from the files app. And there it is. So I'm just going to click on this audio. And then once you have done that, you guys are going to be able to select on it right here. And you guys can now drag it into the timeline so you guys can adjust whatever you want with this you guys can like if you want you can delete a bit of the beginning if you want part of this song at the end you guys can do that so um, adjust it to however you want and then once you have done that just drag it at the beginning of the timeline so from here what you want to do is click on this little downwards arrow and then click on my songs right here so it's going to save it right there and we can tap on it and hold to rename it to whatever we want so I will just set it to ringtone and then from here what we can do is just tap and hold on to it once we've renamed it click on share and then it's gonna give you a couple formats we want to set to obviously ringtone so we're gonna click on that you can change the name again I'm gonna click on export now it's gonna export as a ringtone and once it is finished I say ringtone export is successful we can do OK so now we can back out of the application right here so we can back out of GarageBand we can now go into the settings application we want to go into sound and haptics and then you guys can see we got a ringtone so from here we can click on the ringtone right now i'm not going to click on it because it's going to start automatically playing the audio of the song that i did select for this video but there you guys have it hope you guys did enjoy if you did drop a like on the video hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys don't miss a video and that's basically it and i'll see you guys in the next one